a completely unexpected uh, <clears throat> trip to my YouTube channel. Uh, just something that happened in the last two or three days uh, that needs to be brought up. This sucker needs to go viral. In Lethbridge, Alberta, a postal delivery person refused to deliver copies of a national newspaper, the Epoch Times, E-P-O-C-H, as far as I'm concerned, the only damn good newspaper in Canada. He refused because he thought it stoked anti-Chinese sentiment. Let's be quite clear about anti-Chinese sentiment in Canada. It isn't directed at the Chinese people. It's directed at the Chinese Communist Party, you idiots! And some idiot postal worker says he's not going to deliver them. Well, he said, it, you know, people couldn't filter out information and he was protecting them from misinformation about the communist Chinese. Hell, if you knew the truth about the communist Chinese, uh, you'd be shaking in your boots because I am. Uh Now, what should a postal worker be doing trying to make national policy just because he happens to be, maybe he got a little tip from some of his uh, supposedly non-Chinese communist Chinese friends in Canada, or their other friends, climate activists. Uh, oh, this horse shit in this country is so deep. Said employee should be canned on the goddamn spot without pay, suspended. <clears throat> when a postal worker can refuse to do his job be for political motives, uh, it is utterly, totally disgusting. The gates to Magog have to be closed in this country. That's all I got to say on this subject today. I say I just, it's been pissing me off to no end. And, uh, yeah, a friggin' postal delivery employees going to decide the policy of Canada Post going to make a national decision policy there because he's protecting you from news, uncensored news, real news. Hope you enjoyed my little rant, people. Make this son of a bitch go viral. Get that son of a bitch's ass canned. Good day.